Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an Acer C720P Chromebook, which is a Chrome OS laptop with an uh, Intel Celeron Haswell processor. Uh, this particular model has 2 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage and sells for about $300. Um, it's a surprisingly capable computer given that relatively low price. So let's take a quick look. It's um, not necessarily the prettiest machine. I mean, it's pretty much all plastic, but it's got a decent set of ports. You've got a headset jack here, USB 3.0, HDMI, and power jack. On the other side, USB 2.0, SD card slot, and a lock port. And uh, that's pretty much it for your ports. The uh, keyboard is a full-size QWERTY keyboard. There's a little bit of flex, and in fact, even if you push down on the palm rest area, you'll notice that there's a little bit of flex there. Um, again, it's a $300 laptop. Now, there's a $200 version of this as well, with 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of storage. What makes the $300 version different is it's got a touchscreen. So in addition to using the keyboard and touchpad or plugging in a mouse or other peripherals, you can interact with the operating system using the touchscreen display. And it's uh, the sort of thing that, you know, at a desk like this, you might not necessarily need to reach up very often. Especially if you're typing, I find reaching up not to be great. But if you're sitting with this on your lap, or if you're not spending a lot of time typing, um, I find that navigating through websites using your fingers on the screen uh, is almost as natural on a laptop like this as it is on a tablet, especially if you're familiar with using tablets and, uh, and smartphones. So uh, overall, I'm pretty impressed with the, the performance of this device. It has, um, as I mentioned, an Intel Celeron Haswell processor. It's a pretty energy efficient uh, CPU. Uh, Acer says you should be able to get about seven and a half hours of battery life, and I find that about seven hours seems right uh, based on my usage. Also pretty small, pretty portable. It's a little bit chunkier than what you... It has a oops, support for... HD uh, video you can see here. We're running a YouTube video. And again, the touchscreen controls work pretty well for interacting with it. Uh, had no problem with Netflix or uh, other online video sites. Uh, HD video works pretty well. And uh, in terms of uh, general performance, um, I found that it's faster than pretty much any other Chromebook that I've tried when it comes to SunSpider and other JavaScript benchmarks, uh, except for the Chromebook Pixel. The difference is the Chromebook Pixel has an Intel Core i5 processor and sells for $1299. This, again, is a $300 model. Uh, Chrome OS is not necessarily an operating system that's going to be great for everybody. It makes a nice secondary machine if you don't necessarily need to do a lot of uh, offline activities. There's a growing number of Chrome apps that you can use offline, but for the most part, this is the sort of device that works well if you want to use online apps, Gmail, uh, Google Drive, um, and you know that sort of thing. You can even edit pictures online using um, Photoshop or, uh, uh, or Photoshop's online tools. You can edit documents using Office web apps. I don't know why this is not loading properly. There we go. Um, but it's really sort of designed for uh, online communications, online applications, and so forth. Now, that said, if you really wanted to, you can download certain games and other applications. Let's go to the uh, Chrome Web Store here. And you can see that there are many, many different apps that you can use. Um, some of these have offline capabilities, so you can edit documents, you can play games, and so forth, even if you don't have an internet connection. And if that's not good enough for you, there's also a way, if you enter developer mode and install a script called Crouton, you can open up a terminal window. And boot Ubuntu or another uh, Linux-based operating system uh, like Debian and access offline applications like uh, LibreOffice or uh, GIMP for editing photos and so forth. And the touchscreen works uh, just fine if you do that because we're basically sharing the same kernel and uh, switching back and forth between the two operating systems. So uh, Crouton is probably the easiest way to run Ubuntu apps in uh, on pr pretty much any Chromebook, including the models that have ARM-based processors instead of Intel chips. Um, but if you really wanted to, you could also 
uh, enter developer modes that you have the unlocked bootloader and use uh, this device to uh, wipe Chrome OS and install an alternate operating system. Now, it's not so easy to get Windows up and running on a device like this, but it is pretty simple to, uh, to get Ubuntu and other Linux-based operating systems to run. So if you don't like Chrome OS, uh, this is still a $300 laptop with a decent but not spectacular keyboard, a decent uh, display. It's, um, shows, it's a glossy screen, shows a fair amount of glare, um, but it you know, has decent brightness. Uh, colors look okay from the side, um, although as I do this you can see this sort of wash out a little bit. When you go down this way, colors really wash out, so the viewing angles aren't great. Um, but again, it's a $300 laptop. I keep coming back to that because it's hard to argue uh, or hard to, to nitpick uh, something when it's relatively cheap. And if you don't need the touchscreen, you can get this uh, basically the same device for about $200 or $250 if you want a little bit more storage. Uh, one complaint I probably uh, will make, though, is that the touchscreen model is very nice, um, but there is no option for 4 gigs of RAM. If you wanted to, you can open this guy up. There's a little uh, sticker here over one of the screws that you would need to undo um, that says the warranty is voided if you do open it up. But if you're okay with voiding the warranty, uh, you can open up the whole case and you can replace the solid state drive and upgrade to a uh, larger amount of storage. But there's no way to upgrade the RAM. So uh, with the non-touchscreen versions, there's a 2 gig model and there's a 4 gig model in terms of memory. With the touchscreen version, there's only a 2 gig uh, version at this point. Um, I didn't necessarily notice any performance issues. I've browsed the web, uh, done some writing, done some other online work with a dozen or more browser tabs open at once, and 2 gigs doesn't necessarily feel like a big problem. Uh, but if you're running Ubuntu or other operating systems, you really might want to have more, and unfortunately that's not an option here. It would also be nice to have an option for a higher resolution display. This is a 1366 by 768 pixel display. Um, but Again, given the price, 2 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage, 1366 by 768, and uh, mediocre viewing angles, you know, it's not so bad given what you're paying. Um, I think there are a lot of people who might be interested in paying a little bit more for uh, more advanced features, and hopefully Acer is aware of that and might consider putting out a different model. But uh, I'm pretty impressed with how much I can get done using this uh, device. I spent uh, most of a day using it as my primary work machine, and aside from the fact that uh, I missed some of the Windows photo editing tools that I normally use, I didn't have a lot of problems. Uh, I, I am somebody who spends most of my day on the web, um, so you know that's not necessarily uh, how everybody uses computers, but if you are somebody who spends a lot of time on the web, a Chromebook makes sense, and the Acer uh, line of Chromebooks are pretty good at this point. Um, the processor in this is similar to the same pro the, the processor that you would get if you got uh, one of the latest Chromebooks from Toshiba or from HP. Um, so in terms of performance, it's not going to be very different. But this particular model, I do like in terms of size, in terms of performance, in terms of battery life, and uh, it is one of the cheapest touchscreen models you're likely to find. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a quick overview of the Acer C720P Chromebook. You can find more details at lilliputing.com.